Hello everyone, Geriatric here with Gary, and I hope you are staying retroactive. And tonight we kind of have sort of a special playthrough. Um, this creature who keeps um, impaling himself on these spikes is from a game called Dash Cat. Now what makes this really special is that uh, one of the very first subscribers to my channel actually made this game. And in one of the videos he said, hey, I made this game on Game Jolt, you want to check it out? And I was like, of course I will. So we're going to play this, and he let me know that it's X and Space. So let's get into it. Oh, there we go. Oh, this is going to get very difficult very quickly. Oh, okay. Okay, um, I can that. Oh, okay, that's a little too much. Okay, here we go. Yay. Okay, dash it. Oh, that's not working. Hmm. So yeah, so I I uh, I love video video games, and I can't make them. So I'm really impressed with people who can make them. And this is. Oh, wait a minute. What happened there? Wait a minute. Can I dash in the air? Hold on a second. Jump and oh, that's how we do it. Oh, oh, get down. Oh, oh, oh. I jumped again. That was my fault. But yeah, so, and, um, I really like this guy. He's really, uh, he's always there with a good comment or about what I should play, and he helped me actually with a list of videos that he thinks I should play, and I haven't gotten to a lot of them, because a lot of them are series, and they're games that I really like. So, okay, I gotta, uh, there we go. Dang it! Did you make me a rage game? Is that what you made me? All right, up. There we go. Down through it. Come on. Okay. And okay. Okay, we made it. Jump and jump. Oh! Oh my God! The end was right there. Come on. We can do this. We can do this. Oh God. Yeah. And as I said, I mean this very simple little platforming game. But, I mean, there's challenges here. It's not just, oh. You're not going to make me rage. No, you're not. All right, come on, come on. Here we go. Go through. And as I said, I mean, some of these different types of games are always, you know, kind of a welcome change. I mean, Paintivity recently. Okay, here we go. Jump. Yes. Victory. I did it. Yay! Yay! I did it! That's awesome! That is really, really cool. <laughs> oh, I kind of want to go again. Alright, here we go again! Oh, I was like to say, come on, don't do that. And up! And up! Because, see, with this game, I kind of want to test things now. Like, can I get over by doing this, or can I get over by doing that? Oh! Ooh, I want to cut it close. I want to cut it real close. Oh, shoot. All right, can I jump? How far can I dash? It's pretty far. Uh-oh. Oh, oh come on. See, it's kind of fun to set these kind of little challenges for yourself. All right. I... Do it. What's that? Mario Maker. That gave me the practice right here. All right, I want to go up. It... Oh, almost made it. Come on. Got to do it again. Gotta do it again. And see, this is fun because it's just, you know, just relaxing and just... And it is... Oh. oh trying to stop. Oh. Sorry. Oh. Sorry. Looked out of that for a minute. Alright. Come on, Dash Cat. You can do it. You can do it. How, how, cl how close can you do it, Dash Cat? Oh. A little too close, Dash Cat. Gotta make it a second time. Okay, up and uh, and boop. Oh, too much. Okay, I, I'm I'm figuring out your limitations there, Dash Cat. Yeah. But as I said, I mean, this type of game is just really taking you back to, uh, you know, when people were just fooling around with the industry. You know, when they just were trying to figure stuff out, which I like it. It's retro. Oh, too much of a jump! Come on, Dash Cat. You can do it. 
Me and you, brother. Me and you. Oh, I should. Oh, thank you. Oh, too much. Got to do it. I've got to do it a second time. I promised it that I was going to do it a second time. And I'm going to do it a second time. I'm going to get to that victory. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Oh, yeah. So what were you guys, oh, come on. Nope, you're not stopping me. I'm not gonna stop. I'll make this video 25 minutes. I'll do it. Um, so what'd you guys think of Resident Evil 7 just came out? I've been watching uh, Markiplier play it. That game is scary. I mean, I still don't know if it's like a Resident Evil game though, because to me, Resident Evil is all about zombies and monsters because of the T-virus. And in this now situation, I mean, I mean, they're starting to like bring up the fact that maybe there's ghosts or something, or... And I'm just like, I want to see, I really want to see the end of this, and just see, like, what is... You know, how does this all tie in to the Resident Evil universe? Because to me, it always felt kind of like a Silent Hill movie when I saw the trailer and stuff. Paytivity actually got to go in E3. They had actually built a, a replica of the mansion. And they had VR that you actually literally walked through as you were playing the demo. That is the stuff of the nightmares right there. Alright, come on, come on. There we go. And... Oh! He's not gonna make it. Oh, we were right there. But yeah, it... It really, to me, got a lot of feelings watching the game now of, uh... Sort of... Uh... Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Like, the family and everything. As I said, if you haven't got it, if you've got the ability to play it, go get it. Um, I do, it's just way, you know, 60 bucks is really hard for me to justify. If I had the PlayStation VR, I'd absolutely get that. I'd absolutely have a heart attack once I played it. Because there's some really good scares in that. But yeah, I like the fact that they decided, you know, we're going to keep going. I'd love to see another Silent Hill game, but I think Silent Hill might actually be done now. Ever since, you know, P.T. and everything that happened there. Which is bad, because P.T., I mean, you know, it's kind of taken on a life of its own now, but... I mean, that just was a scary game, which... And I was like... You know, when it was still like, oh, it's still going to come out and everything... I was like, this game could be insanely terrifying. Because it's just... Oh, come on. You know, it was such, you know, creepy idea... Oh. Oh, I pushed Z. Um, that it could, you know, just be very scary. Because horror nowadays is very, you know, subjective. There's a lot of people who go for the, kind of the gore stuff. And, and there's some people like, you know, Five Nights at Freddy's. There's a lot of stuff that borrows from that. And, you know, I'm always kind of waiting now to see, like, what's the next phase of horror. I actually thought that uh, Until Dawn was going to have a bigger impact than it did. I mean, it was just, you know, it was kind of like, I don't know, I've never told you guys, but Telltale Games, which Paintivity is playing right now, uh, The Wolf Among Us, is, I always had a problem with them because I'm like, are these really games or are these visual models? But Until Dawn actually kind of changed that because you could die and it wasn't like, okay, now you can just restart and try again. It was like, well, that affects the story now, so, you know, and I really thought that was going to be a thing where, like, give the players more control because that, oh, I should have stopped, um, is scary because now it's not like, oh, you know, you're just reacting to your character maybe making a stupid decision or something. But now, guess what? It's your stupid decision that you made. And you got to live with that. So, oh, um, uh, too, too little. I'm jumping. Don't be rushing, though. Let's get over there. Get right where... Oh, too little. Whee! Yeah. Ooh, I can... He actually, he actually dashes quite a bit. Oh, too little. Whee! And, nope. Oh man, I could do like a near miss run on this. Like the closest. Okay, come on! And, boom! Victory again! Alright, we're just gonna leave that screen right there.
good screen to have. So yeah, so go check it out. It's on Game Jolt. It's free. See if you can do it faster, maybe a different way. Um, and as I said, thank you, Eric, for letting me play this game and let me know about it. And uh, it's really fun. It's it's challenging. It's it's short, but and kind of like any good short game, I kind of want more. I wanted more levels, but I like what it is. So. Thank you so much for being here. My name is Geriatric. That's Gary. This is, of course, being Dash Cat. And remember to keep it retro. Pick lock. Whoa. Okay. Can, can, can I go in? You want to stop that, please? There we go. Okay, things are a little different here.